There is no doubt that we've all been touched by breast cancer at some point in our lives. Most of us know someone who has had cancer or been directly affected by it. Well, today we're talking with breast cancer expert Dr Nirmala Pathmanathan and women's health advocate and author Jean Kitson. They're here to talk about one of the most important things that women can do for their health, and that is regular breast screening. It's great to see you both. Now, Jean, you've been an advocate for women's health for many years, including raising awareness of women's cancer. So tell us about your involvement with Breast Green New South Wales? Well, I've been involved with Breast Green for some time now and when they asked me to become a part of this campaign, I really jumped at the chance because most women would be surprised to hear that 9 out of 10 women diagnosed with breast cancer don't have a family history. That really shocked me. So I thought it was crucial to spread the word that breast screening is absolutely vital for all women, regardless of family history. Yeah, great point there, Jean. Now, Namala, you are an associate professor, a pathologist and director of the Westmead Breast Cancer Institute. So if anyone's qualified to advise women about the importance of regular breast screening, it surely is you. Thanks, Janie. I guess every day I get to see firsthand the positive impact of breast screening for women and their families. In fact, mammograms are the most effective way to find tiny breast cancers, and this is well before a woman can feel it or even her doctor can feel it. Then, because we found it in these early stages, there's a much better chance of survival. Women still put off their mammograms, though, don't they? Unfortunately, yes, and I think that for most women, even the mention of the word mammogram makes them think of breast cancer and sets off alarm bells about aggressive treatments. But in reality, most women who find their breast cancer through breast screen are much less likely to need treatments like a mastectomy or chemotherapy. Now, you've told us that most women diagnosed with breast cancer don't have a family history. So what are some of the biggest risk factors for breast cancer? Well, it's something that affects all of us. Getting older and being female are the two biggest risk factors, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah OK. So once you turn 50, I guess screening is vital then, isn't it, Jane? Yes, yes, absolutely. We know a lot of women think, oh, it can't happen to me. I don't have a family history. I'm too young or I'm too old or I have full gym membership. <laughs> so they don't bother or they delay. But after 50, a lot of things change for women. We know it's time to concentrate on our health, but we also think, oh my Lord, you know, I've been to the podiatrist, the physio, the optometrist. I have to get my roots done every four weeks. You know, enough's enough. But on our endless to-do list, your breast health and regular mammograms should be number one. Absolutely, no excuse at all. So what should women expect from a mammogram? Well, it's actually very civilised. You make an appointment, you can either phone or go on the Breast Screen website. There are over 200 clinics across New South Wales. At your appointment, one of Breast Screen's highly trained and kind radiographers will take you into the mammogram room. You'll take your top off and the radiographers are all women, so you're much more comfortable. And then she will put your breast between the two plates that are gently compressed tiny bit by tiny bit for, a bit by, for only about 10 seconds. And the important thing is that you are in control of the whole process. So it's a very empowering process and most women are in and out in 10 minutes. Yeah, not too long, which is good. OK, so what would you say to women who have yet to have a mammogram or perhaps are putting it off? Oh, please don't put it off. Please have a mammogram because when it comes to breast cancer screening, we have this awesome technology. We have the opportunity to save women's lives. We just need you to call and it's free. That's always a bonus. And you can call by calling 13 20 50 to book, please. Great advice. Now, what should women do if they have any concerns or would like some more information? Women who have any concerns about their breast health should feel free to talk to their GPs about it. Great. Thanks so much for coming, both of you. Now, to learn more about the screening process or perhaps to find a screening location near you, visit the Breast Screen website or connect with them on Facebook.